So for each of the storyboard you may have, you may want to add in some information uh, so that it is easier in the actual production. So to do that, what you can do is you can use something, uh, you can use something called panel. So over here, you can see that I have a storyboard. So if I were to click on panel, then I will get the panel for that particular storyboard right here. So if I were to click plus right here, this is another board as you can see, and this is panel two, while this is panel one. And as I click on the panels, you can see that the panel name changes out over here. So over here on the panel, you can go around, change out the scene name according to how you like. And over here, you can see that there's different information. For example, there's selection information over here, like you got the in and out point. Then you can also work around with the duration right here. Uh, press the play button right here to play out, um, uh, let's say, for example, an audio recording that you may have over here as well. So you can uh, attach out audio recordings to each and every panels over here that is eaten every storyboard panel as well so for each of the uh each of the panel right here you can add in dialogue information right here for example let's say for example the dialogue is the character says hey right here just like this so you can just type in those information right here so you can add in action notes right here like character uh character is moving right here Similarly, you can add in your slug lines or regular notes right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around, say moving, and there you go. You can type in your text right here. And over here, you can see that there's different options like text formatting options over here as well. This allows you to align out the text in different ways. You can go around and choose around the color of the text as well. So you can go around, select it. You can go around, select color of the text over here. And you can see you can apply out the color just like this. You can go around, select out green, press OK. And you can um, just change this out as you can see. You can bold, underline, and then italicize this. You can change around the font uh, size over here as well for the selected characters. And you can also go around, change out the font over here as well. So you can work around with the text formatting for the dialogues, for the action notes, and so forth as you can see right over here as well. So there's other option, like for example, you can expand this view right here, or you can go around and add in different things over here. Like you want to add in caption, you can go around and add in a caption over here. You can go around, let's say for example, you want to rename or delete out the caption, you can delete out a section right here. You can go around and add in, let's say for example, a sketch over here. So you want to add in a sketch, you can do that over here as well and enable and disable out different things as you can see. You also have options like you can find text right here. So let's say, for example, if I want to search for, let's say, for example, moving right here, click find and it finds that out. So you can see that the whole text editor is there to help you out with finding out different things and then uh, keeping in as much detail as you wish. And that is how you can work around with the board panel inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.